welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my wardrobe. A few of my followers on Instagram wanted to see how I organized my wardrobe and if I could give them some tips on how they can organize theirs. So that is exactly what this video is going to be about. My wardrobe is behind me and there's two sections. I have hanging clothes and drawers, so I'm going to show you how I organize both of those sections and also hopefully give you guys some tips throughout the video so you can organize your wardrobes in a neat and organized way as well. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so this is my wardrobe. It's a little bit hard to film front on because my bed is in the way, so this angle will have to do for now. But I've just got two sections of my wardrobe. The first section of my wardrobe has hanging clothes and drawers full of my t-shirts, pants and jumpers. And the other side of my wardrobe has my coats, pajamas, swimwear and my shoes. So I haven't gone through my clothes in a while. It's probably been about a year since I've done that. But I'm going to go through all of my clothes and my shoes and separate them into piles and what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. And while I'm doing that, I will give you guys tips on how to organize your wardrobe. So I'm going to start with my hanging clothes. And I also have a few drawers with some little bags, hats, and then some jewelry. But I don't think I'm going to be going through that today. I'm just going to stick with my clothes. So we'll start with this section. So since I have a lot of hanging stuff, I'm probably not going to pull it all out. I'm just going to take down what I don't want to keep and go from there. Okay, so my hanging section is all complete. What I've done is I've separated my wardrobe into categories and then I've color coded it as well. You don't necessarily need to color code it, I just like the way it looks. So first I have my heavier jackets and I start from black and then go to this lighter green. Then I've got my lighter jackets and cardigans which consist of my denim, and then my H&M cardigans. Then from here it goes into kind of a mixture of my jumpsuits and some nicer tops that I like to hang up. Then I've got overalls, some more jumpsuits. Then I go into my long pants, my more formal dresses, my darker dresses. And then at the very end, I just have my scarves and my hats. I like to hang them just so down here it's not too messy and it's not too crowded with all of my hats and stuff so this is what it looks like after and I've got this pile of clothes here I am going to be donating these clothes you can do whatever you wish with your own clothes you can donate them you can hand them down to relatives I wouldn't recommend throwing them out but it's just my personal preference and I'm going to donate them Okay guys, so next I'm going to go through my drawers. I'm going to skip this drawer because it is my underwear drawer. But I'm going to show you how I organize all of my t-shirts, my bottoms and my jumpers. So all of my t-shirts, my jumpers and my bottoms are organized in the KonMari method. So instead of folding your clothes and stacking them on top of each other, I like to fold them and position them upright so you can see every single top that you own and it just makes it a lot quicker and a lot easier to identify the piece of clothing that you want to wear. It also, when done right, looks really neat and organized and that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go through all of this and reorganize it because it's getting a little bit out of hand so that's what I'm going to do now. Get 
So this is my current bed situation. It's super messy, but sometimes you've got to make a mess to make it neat. So now that I've gone through all of my t-shirts and I've decided on what I don't want to keep, I'm going to show you guys how I fold my t-shirts and then put them into my drawer. Okay, so this is pretty much how I fold everything in my wardrobe, including my t-shirts, my jumpers, my bottoms, and even my underwear. <laughs> so what you want to do is lay your top out, then you're going to fold it in half. Then after that, I like to fold the sleeves in, fold it in half again. And then I like to fold it into thirds because I find that fits best in my drawers. So one and two. And that is how I fold all of my t-shirts. So from there, I'm just going to put all my t-shirts back into my drawers. shirts are now all done and nice and folded and organized and I will quickly explain how I did that so over on this side I just have my plainer t-shirts ones without logos or just everyday t-shirts that I like to wear this side is more of my cropped t-shirts and I've got some singlets in there over here is again more singlety type tops and then at the very end is my long sleeve tops or tops that have a thicker material and I've just color coded them as well and I think it looks a lot better than trying to stack your clothes on top of one another and trying to dig underneath and try and find what you're looking for so now I'm going to do the same for my bottoms. As you can see, it's pretty much the same method, except instead of having it stacked upright like this, it's more lying down just because the bottoms are more material. So it's harder to fold it that way and have them stand up. So they are just laying down and the same goes for my jumpers as well. It's a little bit messy, but it's essentially the same technique. So I'm going to do that and then I will show you my wardrobe when it's all done. Well, this side anyways. Quick intermission before I move on to the other side of my wardrobe. I have a jumper that I've been wanting to crop for a while. So welcome to DIY cropped jumper with Rachel. So this is the jumper that I've been wanting to crop. Kevin bought it for me for Christmas two years ago or something like that. I absolutely love this jumper, although I don't really know how I feel about the fit of it at the bottom. So I feel like if I crop it, it will be more likely for me to wear it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so I just put two pins in where I think I want to crop it. So now I'm going to take it off and cut it and hope for the best. <laughs> Okay, so I've got all of my pins laid out and I guess now I just have to cut it. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared because if I ruin this jumper, Kevin's going to be mad. But let's just do it. I don't know where to start. Do I cut it like this? 
No, that's a bad idea. I'm gonna cut up the side. Oh no. No, he does nothing. Okay, I think I'm gonna cut a little bit below the pin in case I make a mistake. I should go from the other side. <laughs> Okay, there's no going back now. It's gone. Okay, now let's take all the pins out. Let's see what it looks like. So this is what the jumper looks like now after I've cropped it. Honestly, I am so, so glad that I did this. It looks really nice. I think it looks a lot better. It was kind of full length, but then it like bunched up at the bottom down near my hips. And I didn't really like it, so I'm so glad that I decided to crop this and it actually turned out really well. So yay for me. Now back to my actual content, cleaning my wardrobe. <laughs> So this drawer is normally what I saw my more dressier tops in, ones with collars, but I haven't worn any of these in a really long time. So I think what I'm going to do is whichever ones I decide to keep, I'm going to put in my normal t-shirt drawer. And then with this empty drawer, I'm going to put some pajamas in there because my pajama drawer is actually overflowing. So that's what I'm going to do. side I have my shoes I don't think there's much to say about it I am probably going to take a few pairs out I'm not too sure yet but I will finish the rest of my wardrobe and I will show you the whole thing once it's all done so you know if your bed ends up looking like this you've done a successful clean out what do you think puppy he really doesn't care <laughs> Okay guys, so that is how I organize my entire wardrobe. You can definitely see that the KonMari method and just organizing into categories makes a big difference. So let me go over my wardrobe one more time for you. At the top is all of my hanging stuff, my heavy jackets, my jumpsuits, my lighter tops, long skirts and pants, long dresses and my scarves. And this is what it looks like once it's all done. Then for you, I have all of my t-shirts organized into their own categories and colors. The same goes for my bottoms and also my jumpers down here. Then on the other side of my wardrobe, I have some coats and longer cardigans hanging up. In here is just swimsuits and other personal items. The next drawer, I actually decided to keep those college shirts in there but I also put my silky pajamas in there also the last drawer has my pajama shirts pajama bottoms and some more shorts and then over here I've got my shoes I didn't really need to clean out my shoes except for the one pair over here that I never wear so to finish this video off, I just wanted to summarize some tips for you guys when it comes to organizing your own wardrobe. My first tip for you is to utilize the KonMari method of folding. It really helps with the accessibility of your clothing and it keeps everything looking neat and tidy. My second tip for you is to organize things into categories that way you know exactly where everything is. So for example, having your short sleeve shirts together, your long sleeve, 
your skirts and pants. That way you know where everything is and you don't have to go searching for the piece of clothing that you're looking for. My third tip for you guys is to use the same hangers when you are hanging your clothes. This enables a more cohesive look to your wardrobe and it also keeps everything looking nice and neat. And my last tip for you guys is maintenance. I once read somewhere that if it takes less than a minute to do something, then just do it. And I honestly think about that a lot when organizing things around my room. So if I can't be bothered putting some shoes away, I just think, well, it's only gonna take less than a minute of my life to do it, so I may as well just do it. So the same goes for the rest of your wardrobe. Instead of just throwing your shirt back into your wardrobe, it takes less than a minute to fold it up and put it in the right place. So if you keep doing that, then ultimately your wardrobe should stay neat and organized for a long time. So that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I did get rid of a lot of pieces of clothing that I don't wear anymore, but I will be donating that clothing or asking my sister if she wants any. Since I don't want to just throw it out, then it's just a waste and it could go to landfill, which is something I don't want. I hope you found these tips helpful and you enjoyed watching me organize my wardrobe. I personally love organizing and cleaning, so if you want to see more videos like that, leave a comment below and I will definitely do some. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram at rachbeandess and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!